Most Japanese stoves have a grill pan like this. It's called a fish grill. But you can make more than just fish in it. I'll show you five things to do with a fish grill pan other than fish. Let's get started. Before we get experimental, here are a few basics about a fish grill. They are basically just upside down mini broilers. They have a grill component and a tray. To use a fish grill, you will need to remove the whole tray and fill the bottom with water. This is done to regulate the temperature within the grill pan, preventing it from getting too hot. Preheat the grill for at least 5 minutes before putting any food in. Depending on your model, you may hear a few beeps to let you know when it's ready. Let's start basic. And what's more basic than breakfast? Let's try to make some toast. Once the grill is preheated, add in a slice of bread. On a medium heat, it won't take longer than a minute or so, but you'll need to open it and give it a flip as the heating elements are only on one side. Until recently, I had been making toast with just a frying pan, so let's see if the grill pan is a good alternative. That looks decent enough. Let's remove and spread some butter on it. It's toast. Is it the best way or the most efficient way to make toast? Probably not, but it is a way, so that's something. Okay, bread experiments aside, let's get a little more serious and roast some vegetables. The next three things I will try in the grill pan are all things I make at barbecues in Japan, and this is exactly how I roast vegetables when I'm barbecuing. For years, I've made foil trays to grill vegetables like this. First, I'll take some foil and fold it in half, and then roll the edges up for a lip, and then crimp the corners until you have something like this. This will hold any oil or butter in and help get the tray of vegetables in and out of the fish grill. Mushrooms are always great to grill, so I'll grill some eringi, which are trumpet mushrooms, and let's cut these lengthwise. In a foil tray, add some olive oil and coat the mushrooms on each side. You could use a mushroom to evenly grease the tray. Line them up so they all fit in the tray. You may need to flip them around so they all fit in. Season with a little salt and pepper. Now they're ready to go in our preheated grill pan. After a couple of minutes, let's add some butter and flip them around. Every few minutes, give them another flip. This is the hardest part, waiting. After a few minutes, flip them over one more time roast them again until they are a nice golden color like this. Let's serve. Here's the advantage of grilling in a foil tray. Just grab an edge and serve on the plate. They look good. Let's give them a taste. Mm. You could do the same method with zucchini. Slice them up in rounds, line them up in a foil tray with olive oil, and don't forget to season. Toss them in a grill pan, roast for three to five minutes over medium, flip them over, grill again, and keep doing this process until they have a nice golden color on them like this. Vegetables are fine and delicious, but next, let's wrap something in meat. Here's a classic combo and a great summer barbecue recipe. Take some asparagus, snap off the ends. Let's line them up and cut them so they're all even size. They are perfectly fine to roast like this, but let's wrap them with some pork belly. Bacon would also work, but bacon in Japan is not this long nor this flexible, so I'll go with the uncured version. Wrap it from the end all the way up until you run out of pork or asparagus. So continue this process until all your asparagus is wrapped, and then season with salt and pepper. You may not need to season if you're using bacon. Roll them around to make sure that they are seasoned on each side. This time we won't be using a foil tray, we'll just add them directly on the grill. Line them up, close it, and cook for about 5 minutes on a medium heat. Give them a roll and cook on the other side. The great thing about the water in the tray is that it helps steam as much as it grills, so the pork gets crispy from the flame and the asparagus steams nicely. Once you're happy with the color on each side, remove and plate. Garnish with a couple of lemon wedges and enjoy. Before we move on to the next item, let's wash the grill and change the water. All right, two more things to go. Next, chicken. This is a staple at any of my barbecues. Some good old chicken drumsticks. I'll marinate them exactly the same way as I do when I barbecue in a resealable freezer bag. 
add in the chicken drumsticks, and let's grate some garlic directly into that. Let's add some soy sauce, sake, and mirin. Use some tongs, and give that all a mix so the marinade is evenly distributed. Remove as much air as possible and seal it up. Set it aside for at least 30 minutes, the longer the better. After marinating, line them up on the grill and roast on this side first for about 5 to 10 minutes. Make sure to watch the heat to not burn them. Open it up and let's rotate. We'll keep repeating this process until cooked on each side. There is a bit of work involved to make sure it's roasting evenly, but I promise you it's worth it. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, leave a like. If you've grilled drumsticks before, you'll know what they feel like when they're done, but if not, use a meat thermometer and aim for about 75 degrees Celsius or about 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Once they're done, plate with a few lemons and enjoy. Okay, finally, let's use up some leftovers and make a kima doria. So a few weeks ago I made a doria, which is a rice casserole, and last week I made a kima curry. So let's combine those two ideas. In an oven-safe dish, layer some turmeric rice at the bottom. On top of the rice, let's add a layer of kima curry. What would make this better? Cheese, of course. Great, now let's wrap that in foil and put it in the grill. Cook that for about 10 to 15 minutes. Since everything is cooked already, we just want to bring this up to temperature. After about 10 to 15 minutes, open it up and remove the foil. Let's cook for another 5 to 10 minutes until the cheese has some nice color on it. Remove and there we have some kima doria. Let's give that a taste and oh yeah, that's great. So there we have it, five things to make in a fish grill pan other than fish. But of course, fish does work too, but I thought about showing you how versatile it can be. It takes a little bit of effort to cook evenly and patience, but it is a great little appliance to use, especially if you don't have an oven or even a toaster. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.